Recording in progress. Hey, hey, YouTube. Um, this is where I'm supposed to bounce around and, and get super excited about having a, a new book out. I'm excited on the inside, and you know, even that's a bit of a lie. Um, so 12 years ago, I was first published, and you can see here uh, the quite a large number of books that I've um, now uh, produced. So I've filled in some of this space with Road Brothers, which is a book, um, albeit an anthology of stories, uh, and Bound, which is a novella. But um, there are 15 books there. And forgive me, my leg is being clawed by a large main coon who seems to be exceedingly noisy today. There you go. There's your dose of wobble. He hates you all, unless you want to feed him, in which case you can live another day. Um, so, yes, there's. this is my 16th published book. Um, or 17th, if you include um, Road Brothers, or 20th, if you include my secret collaborative trilogy that I did a oh, while ago. And now I'm going to have to let Wobble out of there, where he's going to meow on the other side of the door. Oh. He's collapsed on the floor. Um, he is being a little bit of a pain today. I don't think he likes his new food. Anyway, book launch. Um, so 12 years ago... Um, Prince of Thorns came out almost simultaneously with um, Dance of Dragons by George Martin. Um, and I got a real boost from my publisher in the UK because they managed to get, I think, a thousand copies of Prince of Thorns given away uh, in a major book chain, Waterstones, um, with George's book. So that certainly helped publicise me and sort of kickstart my career. Um I used to like have these in a long line, but then now there's so many of them they, they in the graphic they get thinner and thinner, you can hardly see them. And I would have um a dance of dragons at one end and rather cruelly uh, winds of winter at the other, but I I've stopped doing that because it has gone beyond funny. Um so yes, that's a lot of books. Um and I've even when Prince of Thorns came out, I wasn't sort of super excited about it it's just not well first of all it's not in my nature but also sometimes the readers seem to imagine that you've just put the last um period at the end of the book and written the end and then a few days later here it is in your hands and you know we've still got that um excitement about the book going whereas when i'd written prince of thorns i had already written the whole broken empire trilogy and was thinking uh, I was writing an, another book at that point which called gun law you can get that on my um wattpad or patreon it's uh, never been published uh, it's good though i like it so the book's very much in the rearview window and like with the book that wouldn't burn um i've already written the next one and the one after that so the trilogy's completed and since then i've written uh, an, another book a sort of a space comedy that's looking for a home um, and I'm currently working on another book. So, again, this is um, a long way in the past. Someone is insisting on meowing at me. There you go. Out. His next trick will probably be start clawing the carpet outside to get uh, me to interact with him. It won't be a good interaction. <laughs> in the distance um so and with prince of thorns also i i didn't you know I, I thought it would be a very small flash in the pan um because most books don't do particularly well um and sadly the career of most writers is sort of a little firework at the beginning as as, as some sort of excitement because you're a new writer and then your sales tend to decline through your, your first trilogy and the chances are that you didn't sell enough to ever get another one and that's the end of the road and i thought that was almost certainly going to be uh my trajectory too um and it kind of is it's just over a long it turns out to be over a longer time scale um so and also there had been a lot of people reading the book before it was released you know because they come to send out arcs um and 
on the day of release it, okay a lot of people might buy it hopefully if you're lucky but they don't read it that same day so it's not like on the day of release you're flooded with with um everyone saying oh yeah great book it's just a sort of continuum and, and it will ramp up over the uh the course of the next week or two or three as the people who bought the book start to read it and if they like it more and others and if they don't then the, the thing tails off quite quickly um so yeah i, I mean book launch day is nice uh but it's i've seen other people other authors um on book launch day and they are always far more upbeat and enthusiastic than i am i mean i'm very keen on this book i think that it is if not my best book certainly one of my best books and a lot of the reviews that have um come in over the last few days and weeks have said you know this is the best lawrence ever um and i always find someone who says that each of my books is the best one i've ever written but this one certainly has more people saying that so um in that sense i'm excited to see how it will do um but i feel and this is something i i um like the voice of doom warn new authors of that launch day is always a, a bit of an anticlimax because there's no immediate gratification it's just part of of a of a curve um and i hope that you guys are going to enjoy and well, buy this book and enjoy it the um the best thing you can do for an author is buy their book early read it early and talk about it early the the publicity that the um the publisher is able to generate is very small beans you know they do things like talk to uh, booksellers and, and get you onto shelves and things but it, the the readers themselves are really the engine of sales and if the readers don't talk about your book in forums online and on twitter and to their mates around the water cooler or whatever um it tends to be more online because typically your mates around the water cooler aren't readers readers are more thin on the ground these days and in order to reach them you need to uh, be part of communities which concentrate those readers in one place but buzz is very important uh, so reading the book um in this first week you know when it has a chance to um potentially uh, catch the eye of many more readers because everyone's talking about it uh that's the best thing you can do and reviews and, and ratings are also excellent um you know you might not think anyone's interested in your opinion on on goodreads but just even if you just give the book a few stars on goodreads it puts it into the, the timeline of, into your timeline and just makes it appear in more people's eye line and the more often that happens the more likely they are to say oh i'll give this one a try um something as simple as going through the the reviews of the book that you like and liking those reviews just clicking like on them again that brings more eyeballs through the algorithm onto those uh, reviews and helps encourage people to read um so I think that's all I've got to say. Um, just that the book is out today in America. It will be out the day after tomorrow in the UK. Um, and you guys should read it. Um, enjoy. And now the embarrassing silence as I hunt for the button. There we go.